It's undeniable that the hottest talk of the town right now is the One Ring. It's taken over the top decks in the modern metagame, and it's the bane of every rental service account holder. You just can't get copies of it on Mana Traders. But I managed to. I managed to get four copies. And I'm here to try it out today, specifically because it's the 49th most played card in modern, according to the Goldfish uh, Goldfish kind of list here, which is crazy when you think about like Fatal Push and like Grief being on this list and Counter Spell and Unholy Heat. I mean, 10% of decks, 3.2 copies across. If the Omnath decks can be winning challenges with it, why can't I win some leagues with it? Let me know what you think of this list here. Let me know how you would play the One Ring, if at all, in Mill. I think it's worth trying out if you can manage to get copies of it because we end up doing really well with it in this game. Enjoy. All right, first game with the One Ring. I got two in my hand and um, I don't know. Uh, I, I'm on the play. Ah. Uh, Come on, come on. I can't, this is not a keepable hand. No, no, mulligan, mulligan, mulligan. For those of you, okay, this is much better. For those of you very, uh, who's uh, who's interested, the deck list is down below. So I highly recommend you check it out. Um, I'm just kind of jamming four copies and really just trying to extrapolate as much value as possible from the one ring um, and from what it does. So hopefully we can make that happen. Hopefully this isn't the well no burn wouldn't keep a hand like this i was just gonna say hopefully this isn't the burn matchup but why would they just pass through i don't know maybe they'll like rift bolt me here but we'll see also apologize for my hair my hair is like sticking out it's that it's that morning hair that's that morning hair okay we'll fetch do need that fourth land for the ring but it's fine it's okay you got watery grave saying anything in chat and i mean i'm hoping to i'm hoping to like just cast this card get some protection and then draw cards at the end of the day just draw into the win conditions you know that's that's the ultimate goal it's going to enter the battlefield it's going to give me protection from everything until my next turn uh which is fantastic um i have to look up the specific rulings of all this i'm kind of just going into it blind because I, I don't know i'm so excited because i finally managed to get multiple copies of this card like four copies of this card from mana traders um and shout out to them they've been getting a lot of flack recently just not having copies and um just the supply being so low and i mean they, it's not anticipated right like this was not i i wouldn't call this like the base version of this card was not a chase card i don't think um i don't think a lot of people were expecting it to like just go this crazy but we'll see what happens so we're placing we're playing against some type of like rakdos deck here waste not crazy okay um okay so the one ring i actually think might end up being clutch here so i'm not going to be able to counter that right now whenever i when our opponent discards a land yeah non-creature card draw card i think i think that non-creature card clause is it you have to draw a card draw a card okay it's four so we might actually use that to our advantage might actually use that second mode to our advantage the problem here is they're gonna start casting spells and we're we don't have like good counter magic against it right now all right on to our turn so this is i mean okay that's all right um i'm gonna play the land What's nice here is actually the protection from everything might actually be big, big clutch here. It actually might be crazy against a discard deck. Considering that we're just redrawing cards and uh, the protection just like blanking them for a turn. Like they, excuse me, they will have cards that might say each player, each opponent, whatever it might be. I, I, I'm not that... I guess versed against the waste knob matchup i i understand the general concept um but i think the one ring might provide some sneaky value here so i think we just got to play it right and there are some fun little interactions here and there so um let's see what happens let's see what happens here so if you cast it right at the beginning of your upkeep you lose one life or yeah so that's at the beginning of my upkeep and so essentially the trick here is folks Whenever you tap it, you put a burn one counter on it, and then you, you draw a card for each burden counter on it. 
And then on your upkeep, you lose life equal to the amount of burn encounter. So essentially, when you want to draw your second card, when you're on top with it, you want to you want to wait until that moment. You don't you, you don't want to like you know you want to, you want to let that happen. You want to let that trigger go off, then tap it, then go to your draw step or whatever, right? So you don't want to respond to that trigger. Like you're, you're just losing unnecessary amounts of life, essentially. That, that's what I'm trying to say. So my opponent's like playing slow. I think. Again, knock on wood. If we can steal this game one, yo, wait, wait, wait. Are we gonna be able to steal this game one? Hold on. Croxa, okay, okay. Croxa is not bad. Okay. Um, I think I might draw. Let's cycle. Oh, that's actually discarding, eh? All right. Well. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. Because I am cycling. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll lose the archive trap. That's fine. Essentially, just trying to put cards in the yard so that um, I can hopefully draw into something here. I think I'm going to drop actually the drown. I'm going to drop the drown. Enters the battlefield. Each opponent. Yeah, that does get around that. Yep. Draw a card, that's fine. But I'm kind of feeding their Croxa. The thing is with their Croxa though, if they do want to like activate it, they do have to cast a couple more spells. So, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to cast the one ring. One ring, cast modern mill. Let's go casting the one ring, taking on the power of Siran. Yeah, so we're gonna do this on on their kind of end step. I have protection. The problem is Croxa does say each opponent, so there is that. There is that. So that that cycle was a bit of a misplay. I, I definitely will take that. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. So they definitely can um, make that happen. That's fine. Even if even if they do, like I'll discard the visions of beyond. Like it's not really getting that far for me. That's perfectly fine. But I will tap the one ring first. Sure. Oh, it's five cards, not six. Okay. Um, I'll respond. I'll top draw. Yep. I'll drop the visions. I, I don't think, you know, especially if their graveyard is going to go like that. I'm happy to let them like draw cards. Again, the key here is let that trigger go off. They're going to discard. Yeah, let that let that trigger go off. Then we tap. Nice. Then we go to our draw step. Nice. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, now, now we get to do some crazy stuff. Now we get to do some crazy stuff. So... Hmm. Um... Wondering if there's anything that I would want to do on my turn. I did play a land. Let's see here. Let's just hit him. Why not? So I definitely have to definitely. I definitely want to be like fatal pushing. What's going on here? Yeah, this deck's playing Ragavan and everything. I, I've dodged so much Orcish Bowmasters too. <laughs> wow we, we okay we're, we are uh wow we are getting mad lucky i'll tell you that much uh this is this is definitely one of those super oh wait 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 hold on hold on folks i almost dropped the bag we just win i almost dropped the bag we just win i just want to point i just want to point out everyone everyone watching this game one the one ring won us that game it drew it drew us three cards gave us protection the one ring won us the game there. Come on. All right. I might lose the match, but <laughs> I won the game. Um, the deck is pretty low to the ground. I'm wondering if the one, I think what's actually like kind of surprising here is even though they're playing Orcish Bowmasters, I feel like the one ring actually draws us out of some, some hell holes here. So I think I'm actually go crypt, extirpate, maybe not soul guide and like bring in Tasha's. And what I'll do is I'll drop visions. 
right i'll drop visions and then jace and then like one card did i bring the tasha's i did bring the tasha's i'll drop like one of the one rings hmm i think tasha's is good because the exile their deck is like rel uh, it's like relatively low right relatively low i think crypt incursion is going to be important there's a lot of creatures uh that we can take advantage of i think the visions did help there but it's it's weird right like it's we want to aggro them out we kind of don't i don't know I, the fatal push is because they got ragavan like I, I do really want my removal i could just drop that last tasha's and just and just run it it could be that like we have to remove the one ring what i'm biasing towards is two things so again even though they have orcish bowmasters i think just with all the cards that we're potentially losing i think redrawing is valuable and then secondly i'm making content I gotta, I gotta force the one ring. I have to see if this changes the way that we can play. If this card is even good in this deck, I have to showcase it. And that's what we're here to do. I have to showcase it. So I'm going to keep this hand. Funny enough, I'm pretty sure the one ring is what we discard here. Um, the one ring is technically what we should be discarding here. But as I said, I'm here for content, folks, I'm here for content. I got to force it. I gotta force it, so we'll see. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Okay, all right. Mars Capone Leon. <laughs> you taking the one ring? <laughs> you taking the fatal push? Fatal push could be a two. Yeah, that's right. That's right. They're not a fan. They're not a fan. I like it. I like it. I like it. So I'm actually going to hold off. Uh, that might have been a mistake because if they dash in a Ragavan, I can't fatal push. But I'm going to wait on the crab in case they have like a removal spell for it. If they have another discard spell, so be it. But I get my value out of the crab. That, that's what's important. Tasha's is good as a follow up here. So I'll cast this. I'll play this and I'll wait. So in response to a spell that they cast, I, I will fetch. I didn't be worth me myself, but no, no, I don't have visions anymore. Okay, play the land and pass. That's perfectly fine. What do you got on second main? Aired Mesa into Blood Crypt. What do you got? Tapped. All right, I'll fetch here. If you got a removal spell, use the mana on your turn love it fantastic i love that i actually like genuinely love that using a mana on your turn that is what i want to see watery grave tapped on top we are going to tasha's i think we're gonna tasha's yeah i'm, I'm just gonna tasha's see how far we get okay 14 cards not bad it's on par with the fractured sanity which I will take because in this case, Exile on the cards is so much more powerful. Uh, Blood Moon is definitely something I did not think about. I should have actually checked if this... No, I don't think this deck would play Blood Moon main. It's got a lot of black sort... It's, it's got a lot of black that it wants to play. Burning Inquiry is kind of funny. <laughs> okay. Yep. What are they, they going to do here? Are they going to cast Bobble over and over again? Okay. Sure. They're going to cast a... Yeah. Exile three other cards. You're just going to exile your, your thing? If I top deck the one ring, god god status. God mode. If I top deck the one ring, it's god mode. It's actually crazy. It's actually like high tier god mode top decks. If I top deck the one ring. Let me see. Let me see opponent. So you you saw what I'm doing here. You saw what I'm doing here. <sighs> Extra bait. Okay. Um. I'm actually gonna shock this in. 
think of it like a surgical. I'm going to shock this in. I'm going to take the Underworld Breach. Or do I wait for Croxa? Do I stay patient for Croxa? Or do I just take Breach? Breach is pretty scary for a long game, but I'm not I'm not on the threat from it. If they just cast Breach right now, there isn't a problem. Yeah, there is a there is a lot of good targets though. Um, and then I could just hold a field of ruin for getting my black source. I think like if if Blood Moon is an active thing for me to consider, then yeah, Blood Moon's gonna be an active thing for me to consider. Then hmm. I'm gonna want the swamp. Just so I can cast these black spells, cast the top deck drown. I have four mana. Oh, the, I'm telling you, the ring is crazy here. The ring is insane here. The ring is actually insane here. Because look, they're they're like kind of out of resources. They had to like push out. A, they had to throw a lot at me just to do everything they just did. Right. And the ring saves me from that because it saves me from like future spells like thought seizes, whatever. Um, bolts at my face. Burning inquiry is each player. But even still, like I, I like with the one ring out, like I come out on top because I can still draw cards. It's fine. Okay. 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 That's hilarious. Um. Uh, I don't think I need a field of ruin because they're not going to play blood moon. I will do this. I think I might as well just get my value out of it, right? Because then I'm just going to draw three straight cards. I'm just going to. Oh, no, discard three at random. The, OK, so if the extirpate has no value, there's no point in me doing it because then I keep a net card. Yeah, it's probably better. I just keep a net card. Yeah, I'm forgetting that it's on discard draw first. I was a hollow one player. I'm forgetting my cards. Come on. Yep. I was a hollow one player. Yeah, I actually just like literally keep the extra bait. That's absolutely hilarious. I discarded my basic spawn too. <laughs> oh, sometimes. Sometimes that RNG go crazy. That RNG go crazy sometimes. Well, I will say that. All right. Um, that's a three three. That's problematic. That's fine though. We we can um we can take out types. We can take out some types. That's six types though. I'm not exactly yeah. I'm not stopping delirium, but oh well. Uh, let's take out waste not first. Like that's kind of like that long game engine that they have. Roxa. We have one more blood moon. Yo, a Tasha's off the top is G G. Tasha's off the top is hot. Yeah, mathematically speaking, here one, two, three, four. If I take out season four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah. Wait, one. Sorry, two, four. Um, 7, 11, 14, 17, exactly, it's actually exactly 20. So it doesn't really matter. That's fine. So they, they just cast both cards here. That's fine. Dash, dash that sucker in. Um, see how they do this. Enters the battlefield, discard a card. Okay, um, I will let that discard happen. I will field of ruin. So just so I don't lose the three life, um, I will field of ruin after the Ragavan trigger to increase the chance of them getting a land off of this. But the one ring is crazy here. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. The one ring is crazy if I can uh if I can nab that. 
Crocs, unfortunately, next turn is unfortunate. Okay, so now decrease the chance of me drawing a land. If I can just top deck something. Actually, I'm, it might have been better for me to keep that just for the sake of Archive Trap. So I might have made a mistake there. Or, okay. Um, better to cycle? Or better to just cast? Might be better to just cast and let the top decks happen. Yeah, might be better to just do this. Because the last thing I need is like them drawing Blood Moon and I really get shut out. Yeah, didn't have a lot of good options. If I, if I could have gotten Thoughtseize there, I might have I might have actually, if there was a Thoughtseize in the yard, I might have been tempted to use the, uh, the thing there. So I didn't, <sighs> I didn't get the Blood Moon. I did get the Pyro though. Regardless, Blood Moon comes off the top and really messes with me. Okay, we still have, we have a lot of dead draws. We have a lot of live draws too. I might just be playing this wrong here. Yeah, they'll they'll swing in and then yeah, they get their Crocs of value. Yeah, this is this is smart. Um, one ring off the top for me. Yeah, good. They just grabbed a land. That's perfect. I'm at seven though. Oh, they don't cast Crocs. Interesting. Oh, okay. Nah, nah, nah. Opponent. Opponent, stop. Opponent. Opponent. Opponent, no. Is this instant speed? Yeah. Opponent. No, the crypt incursion coming in hot. The crypt incursion is crazy. The crypt incursion is out of this world. It's it's literally okay. That's fine. Flash that in. I do not care. Okay. You deal one damage to me. That's fine. And then you amass. Insane. Insane. I'm at 27. Literally just gained 20 life. 21 life. Sorry. Let's go. Let's go. It's actually huge. The fact that they're not playing Croxa is crazy. Like Croxa like speeds up your clock. Why not? Okay. That's fine. Drown in the lock. That's okay. It's not it's not a win condition like like as long as they're taking cards like that like I'm, I'm cool play this to block play this to block and then like land triggers like if they if i draw fetch fetch is also a win here so i do want to play that out um i lose three life off the croxa but like that doesn't really matter yeah i just i just block like the the thing token here I'm at 14. Taking a lot of damage, but that Crypt Incursion was crazy. That Crypt Incursion was a hot draw. I will say that. Okay. Yup. <sighs> Top decks are not fun. Sorry, I, I, I said they, they didn't play Crocs, but they don't have Crocs in their yard. I don't even know why I'm saying that. They don't have Crocs on their yard, so. Okay. I'm pretty okay with them dealing three damage to me, I think. I don't want them stealing cards with Ragavan. So I think I'll just, yeah, I don't want them stealing cards with Ragavan. Cause now that now that I can control it, it's, it's better, right? I am taking one more damage than I need to. Like I could be at 11 versus 10, but I think the trade-off is better. Okay. 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 Uh, oh, wait, I win. Wait, why am I rolling my eyes? I win. Wait, 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 opponent. Wait, 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 wait. Come on, come on, don't. Yes, let's go. Crypt Incursion, the one ring coming together for the big dub. Oh, baby, let's go. Let's go, let's go.